Hello and Merry Christmas from the Rock River Valley Traction Company. It is Christmas Eve and I'm out here today, uh, believe it or not, uh, working on some track. I'm going to try to straighten this. I don't know if you can see the kind of the wiggle waggle to the left uh, of this track. I'm going to try to pull it over to the right and replace a few ties. Uh, we've got beautiful weather out here today. Normally there's uh, snow and it's very cold. And uh, this year, well, it's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And it's been raining for the last two days. So all this ground is very soft. Uh, it hasn't been cold enough to really even freeze anything yet. Um, so I think I'll be okay to dig this out and get the track moved over. Um, basically, all I'm going to do is remove some dirt from this area over here, and then we're going to try to shift this over. Uh, I've got some ties over there that I brought down. Uh, got quite a few bad ones in here. This track has been buried under the dirt for a long time. Uh, I dug it out uh, over the fall when it was kind of soggy. Uh, the ground here was very packed because this is the main way that we walk across to go into the car barn. So uh, ground's been packed there for a long, long time. I had quite a time digging it out, but I got it. And of course, not much left of the ties after being completely buried in wet soil for years and years and years. So we're going to try to straighten this out, uh, throw a few ties in there, and... Uh, see what we can get done on this beautiful Christmas Eve 2023 So I've gone through and dug out uh, along the edges of the ties and also tried to free the ties from What dirt was left around them? I still couldn't shift this track over so I've got my uh, little chain binder out here and secured it to this pole and we're gonna see if we can persuade this track to come over it just needs to come over like a couple inches and I think it'll be good so here we go I've persuaded the track to move and I don't know this looks this looks a lot better than it did now uh, you can see over here <laughs> just how far I moved that uh, all along here where the ties shifted over in the dirt and where they used to be so I still got maybe a little bit of tweaking to do but it's so much better than it was so now we're gonna put some ties in here because a lot of these are completely rotted um, back here I had to because I've only got one of those chain binders but fortunately we have this pole here and uh, I was able to take this four by four and wedge it in there and then uh, smack it down with the pick. And that pushed uh, this track here, this end of it over. So if we go back and we have a look now, yeah, I think, I think it's a lot better. So on to putting some ties in. Got a few ties put in here. Uh, we'll take a little run up the hill to grab some more because uh, I am out now down here, but I got more up in the material yard. So uh, let's go grab some ties.
right, so we grabbed some more ties and uh, got them put in. Put a few in here. Got a couple down here. Still, still have more to do, but now, now I've depleted my stash in the material yard, so uh, we won't replenish that until spring. Uh, so there's still a few more. Now, one other thing that I'll point out is the spacing between the ties. So if you look at this, uh, I think that's about maybe like 16, 18 inches. And I like to bring it down to maybe like 12, maybe a little bit closer. So while I'm in here working, I'm trying to uh, fix the spacing. Now, granted, that means we use more ties, but uh, the problem with this wide spice the wide spacing is that uh, when a tie rots out now you've got a really big span between ties and while the equipment's not that heavy out here um, when you get on some of the small rail it will spread the gauge uh, with a distance that far and a bad tie in between so um, I'm trying to fix that as I replace ties, I, I fix the spacing on them. Um, so in the future, it's not so critical to change stuff you know, right away when they first rot out. So uh, let's uh, secure these up with some lags and finish up. We're slowly gonna lose daylight here pretty soon. We got about an hour left of daylight on this lovely Christmas Eve. And uh, then it'll be too dark to work out here. So uh, we'll lag it up and finish it up. Got everything all gauged and lagged up here. Now all the new ties are secure. And uh, we still have to surface this track. I can tell just by looking at it that it's got high and low spots in it. Uh, obviously we'll put some rock under there when we level everything up. Uh, that'll be a springtime project. Not gonna try to do that today. We're running out of daylight pretty quick. But uh, I think we definitely made improvements here. Uh, track is now straight-ish. And uh, it's got actually something holding the gauge together. Um, one thing I did notice is one of these pieces of rail uh, in here is um, what I call a banana rail. Where it's it's got a really bad bow to it. So... I'll have to, in fact, I think it's this piece right here. I don't know if it'll show up in this video. Eh, maybe. Kind of see it. Kind of see it right, right back there. It just um, got a bad bow to it. And the only way you can fix that is to cut the top of it uh, with a cutoff wheel, and then I straighten it, and then I weld the gap back together. So I don't have a hydraulic bender heavy enough out here like a mobile bender to uh, straighten that stuff out so uh, cheating works just fine for that I think I showed it in one of my other videos uh, but anyway uh, pretty cool working out here on Christmas Eve not something uh, we get to do often I know last year at this time uh, there was a blizzard moving in and it was below zero and the wind was blowing and we had like a foot of snow, so uh, what a difference a year can make. So anyway, hope you found uh, this little uh, Christmas Eve adventure enjoyable. And uh, everyone have a great holiday season and enjoy time with your families. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.